Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here listening to Nyon's first solo debut album. Hopefully you guys can't hear my fan, but yeah, I said I was gonna get get around to this later today. I waited till a little bit because I wanted to wait for the people in my house to be asleep because uh, it would be mad awkward if somebody walked in during my album reaction. But yeah, here we go. If you want to see my reaction of Pop, it's already on my channel. I reacted like, <clears throat> like six hours ago. But yeah, let's check this out. Nyan song with Felix from Stray Kids. Very unexpected collaboration, but let's check it out. We stay up until the light. Sunrise in the morning. Yo, her voice. And I can wait until Ooh. we reunite. It sounds amazing. I can to ease your mind. And even if you're low, sometimes. Ooh. Okay. I can be the one to pick you all the way up. Baby, Ooh. when you're feeling down, you just gotta let me know. No, oh, there ain't no problem. Hey, yo, this is funky, bro. I love how simple the instrumental is. Bro, her lower register, man. Ooh, that falsetto, man. Oh, yo, this beat is nice. Bro, oh, I love the vibes of this song, man. Ooh. This man's voice is crazy, man. That was a nice feature, bro. Ooh, yo, I love that part, man. I love the ad libs, man. For love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this song was such a vibe, bro. This sh this song just screams youth to me, bro. Like, really nice, simple melodies, nice, simple instrumental, but it worked, man. I love this one. No problem. Honestly, I may actually just like no problem more than pop already, cause pop pop is a good title track, but I typically tend to like the B sides of most albums more, just as like songs, you know. So, hey. But anyways, next song is Love Countdown featuring Wanstein or Wanstein. I'm not familiar with this artist, but let's just check it out. <clears throat> oh, the guitar. Ooh. Oh, yo, that beat hit hard, man. Ooh, that melody! 
Bro. There's a lot of English, bro. Ooh, I love this slow part. Ooh, yo, this percussion is hitting, bro. I love it, man. Has a nice voice. Bro, I love this song, man. Tender one. I love that. Oh shit. Final destination. Vocals, man. Yo, this is a fucking amazing song. Dude, I love the ad libs during this part. So far, bro, three for three on songs, bro. These B-sides are hitting way more than the title track, bro. And I like the title track, so this album's already on track to being a no-skip track. Let's check it. Let's check out Candy Floss. This is uh, Candy Floss. This is her her first B-side where it's just her on this album. Let's check it out. Oh shit! Yo, we start these songs like right away, bro. Yo, these vocals. Ooh. I was expecting like a intense beat. This one's way more chill than I thought. Hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. Woo! Oh, Woo oh, Jesus Christ, bro! That's that flip. Damn. Okay. Dude, there is a lot of English on this album, bro. Respect to Naya. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Wow, I like that. Oh, is that a sax or a trumpet? Ooh, ooh, I love the eight bit like video game type music in the in the in the background. Yo, yo, bro, her vocal. Yo! 
I'm sorry, man. She is fucking going crazy with the runs, the falsettos, the the everything vocal, man. Yo! Bro, I keep fucking up that part. <laughs> Dip it in, get a taste. Production on all these songs is so interesting. Dude, I really like this song. This might be my favorite, bro. Yo, I really like this more than I initially thought because like it really ramped up throughout the song like In the beginning of the song, I was like, okay, this is kind of like chiller than Than I thought it would be because like Like around this part, it's like Like I was expecting like a drop like some crazy like maybe like an 808 or something like that something bassy uh, but I didn't get it, so I was like, okay, this is a nice song though, but throughout the song it just kept picking up and picking up and then there was this part here with her, where she just went crazy. Oh, and I love the video game, that's the, the sound, the video game sound in the back, bro. Anyways, yo, I, I think Candy Floss might be my favorite so far, man. I really like it. But anyways, let's check out All or Nothing. All or Nothing. Yeah. Hey, listen. Ooh, okay. Oh. It's All or Nothing. Let me make a little confession. A tears are stuck with tears that ain't to be to tell him that. Yo, she came on this track hella, like, sassy, bro. Let me make a little confession. A tears are stuck with tears that ain't to be a multi. To tell him that we pass on the guest. Say what? Say what? Say what? Yo, I love that. Hey. Okay. Bro, this beat is hitting, bro. I love how consistent it is. All 
Get your head bobbing, bro. I really love this part, man. Yo, that was a solid song. I I didn't really say much because it's this this song kind of stayed consistent all the way through. There wasn't really any crazy like switch ups or crazy variances in the song itself. But that's its strength actually because I was I was just bobbing my head to the same tempo pretty much like the entire song. There were no crazy like timing switches in the beat, and I like it, bro. Like that. This was definitely a key song, like a really good song to put in this album. <clears throat> just because it's a nice like song that you can maybe put on in like the car, you're just driving, chilling, zoning out, you know, and you can just leave it in the background while you do your thing, you know. I love this song, bro. Anyways, happy birthday to you. Oh shit, does she have copyrights to this, <laughs> this song name? But anyways, let's check it out. Happy birthday to you. I wonder what the lyrics are going to be like. Yo, this beat is crazy. Dude. Yo, the way she keeps switching from falsetto to... Yo, this beat is fucking insane! And her vocals and everything, man. in the background Like 
damn yo every single song is so insanely good i loved it. dude the beat was going so fast like i liked it man like it's i really liked the song like i i was kind of curious <laughs> to see what like the lyrics would kind of be for a song like this but i mean i don't really know korean but the english lyrics sounded good <laughs> but anyways this was a fire song i love the tempo of it all i love that little part at the end where she added that melody Da -da 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 -da. Like I like that. Anyways, on to the yeah, this is the last song, Sunsets. If I had to predict, maybe it'll be a ballad. Who knows? I, I feel like every album has to have one ballad. Let's see. <laughs> I'm too oh I I predicted it. Let's go. I love ballads. <laughs> That was smooth, bro. Did you hear that like instrument in the background? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, shit, the vocals. Oh my god, the layering. The vocal layering is crazy. That was heavenly, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, here, right. Sheesh. Yo, I love this song. This is not your typical ballad, bro. on top of each other man it sounds yo i'm ascending bro sequence bruh oh I love those vocal chops man the ha ha I love that Ooh. this is a top three song on this album for me bro top three I'm stupid. <laughs> Damn. Bro, I can't even believe this is Nyan, man. This is insane. Yo, this is seriously eye opening to me because if I'm being honest, bro. For those who don't know, I'm a very cat. 
I've known twice since their debut, literally since their debut, and I've been a fan of them since their debut, and I've I've definitely watched a couple of their contents over the years and stuff like, you know. But I've I feel like I would definitely classify myself overall as a casual once, you know, I've pretty much listened to all their title tracks, kept up with them to a degree, watched a couple of their reality series here and there, you know, like Switzerland when they, you know, back in the day you know so i'm definitely like a casual twice fan so i always knew that nyan's voice was like pretty much in the forefront of twice songs but listening to this album really opened my eyes to like the versatility the crazy versatility that she has you know definitely just listening to like these songs like the variety the sheer variety of the genres the different you know the different vocal performances she can do as shown in these songs, you know. Uh, that's why I'm kind of excited that it seems that Twice members are kind of now just being able or being allowed to venture into solo, more solo career moves, you know, because uh, pretty much for this for the seven years they've been like pushed solely as a group, like not solely, you know, but like mostly as like a, a group you know so it was really nice to listen to Nyan's solo album and how fitting that she was the first one <laughs> but anyways man solid solid album i really enjoyed all the songs okay i don't know how i would rank these but if i were to just give you all my top three like my top three i think it would be number one candy floss number two sunset this shit was making me fucking ascend, bro. This was beautiful. So yeah, Candy Floss, Sunset, and I think... No problem. Just because I feel like Felix... Ah, oh, but Love Countdown is so good too, man. Ah, number three. Number, okay, number three has to be between these two. Yeah, definitely, bro. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my album reaction as I promised. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.